Welcome to Wikipedia for Beginners. In this video, we'll look at how to translate articles on Wikipedia from one language to another. You probably already know this, but Wikipedia is available in over 300 languages. English Wikipedia is the one we focus on at Wikimedia Australia, but there's also a French Wikipedia, a Japanese Wikipedia, and more. To see a list of all of these Wikipedias, just go to wikipedia.org and scroll down the page. Some pages will be on one Wikipedia and not the other, because each one has their own volunteers creating content. To see if an article is available in different languages, just go to that Wikipedia article, and on the right side you'll see this language button. Clicking that shows links to the article in all available languages. But what about translating one yourself? To do that, click on the person icon in the top right hand corner, and click Translations. This tool is available to anyone who has a Wikipedia account, has made at least 500 edits, and whose account is over 30 days old. If you don't quite meet the requirements yet, it's a good excuse to do some editing and get in some practice. Thankfully, I meet those requirements, and this is the page I see. It's already suggesting some translations I might like to make, and on the right hand side are some stats around the translations I've already done. At the top of the page, there's a notice which says machine translation has been disabled on English Wikipedia. This means you'll have to manually translate pages to English and the process won't be automated. Let's have a look at what else is on this page. Starting on the right, if I click on the publish button, I can see the translations I've already done. There's a small graph showing how much of the original article was translated and you can see the languages the originals were translated from. Clicking on the In Progress button would show you a list of translations that you started that haven't been published yet. This is where your own drafts will be saved as you work on them. Then, clicking on the Suggestions button takes us back to a list of suggestions. Currently, it's suggesting articles in German that are on the German Wikipedia, but not on the English Wikipedia. You can change the language by clicking on Deutsch, or whatever language is being suggested to you, and selecting the language you want. I'll try French. Now the suggestions are for French articles that are on the French Wikipedia, but not on English Wikipedia. The suggestions are based on your previous translations. I translated a music-related article from German to English, so all of my German recommendations are for music topics. I also translated an artist's article from French to English, and so my French recommendations are all for the arts. If none of these take your interest, you can click on the New Translation button and search for an article or page you want to translate. This only works if you know the specific article name you want, and it will bring up articles that are already on English Wikipedia, but thankfully it will warn you if you select something that already exists on your language's Wikipedia. So let's say I want to translate this article. I just click the article, click Start Translation, and then I get this page. On one side is the article in its original language, and then on the other is where I can begin my translation. Clicking the plus icon will start the translation by pasting the original text. You can then edit and translate it. Translations can be a fun way to practice your language skills, but don't feel the need to stick too closely to the original article. If you have your own references, you can write an article using your own words, and just keep the original article as a guide. Just be aware that not every Wikipedia is the same. You might get error messages that references haven't been translated because there's a different template in use, and there might be a different style of how to structure an article on some Wikipedias that is different from English Wikipedia. Because of this, often you have to manually re-add all of the references, and you may need to add some more so the article meets English Wikipedia's notability guidelines. If you need help, on the right-hand side of the page is a link for translation guidelines with more information on how to translate. Sometimes I might start a translation and then realise it needs so much more work than I can possibly find time for, so I decide to stop. As mentioned, you can go back to your translations in progress at any time in the In Progress area. But if you have changed your mind, you can also press the rubbish bin icon and this will discard the translation. It won't delete the original article or affect it in any way, it will just remove your work in progress draft.